Hey guys, so welcome to the video. Um, I just wanted to start it off by showing you a little, you know, little clips of our trip. Hopefully you can live vicariously through us if you didn't go. Um, but we had just left Dallas at this point, so we were, we had been on the road for a couple hours. Um, it was a six and a half hour trip, seven-ish, eight-ish, because we got lost. That's another story for another day. Piece of advice, do not take road 181. I stayed in the swatch video. 181 is probably the worst road you could take to Corpus Christi, especially at night. Um, but yeah, we kind of just talked the whole way. So did some sisterly bonding. Um, yeah. You'll see here in a second how creepy... Um, the highway 181 is especially at night do you see it bam i don't know i just found it extra creepy especially because um we were like the only ones on the road mm -hmm. that late but i think this clip was the per to show some like red blinking dots they ended up being like really big old windmills which was pretty cool to see in the daytime because we could see them from where we were um, but the next clip, I actually am at the event already. That was it. I don't, honestly don't know. Probably about 5 in the morning, 6 in the morning. Um, let me tell you, Corpus is cold. That was a news a news um, station that had already been there for a while. I don't know if it was because we were against the water and it was windy, but it was cold. And I did not have a sweater, so I was freaking the little buns off. But look at their gorgeous sunrise, you guys. Like, holy moly, guacamole. Could you die to wake up to that every single day? That was gorgeous. Um, I really liked seeing that. We're finally moving. And then this was just right outside the venue. We were finally so close, yet so far. We just had to go through security, the metal detectors, and all that good stuff. And then we walked right into where they were handing the wristbands. So, we all, they opened the doors. They were supposed to open at 10, but there were so many people already in line that they went ahead and opened the doors at around 8, 8.30. So, we got inside about 9 or 9.30. So, that was really awesome. So, here we just walked into the entrance of the venue. And this is... The, this is... That's where they were putting on our wristbands. And like I said, they were the purple ones. So they were the first 1,000 according to these people. Um, they were just trying to keep count. But it was super pretty. It was all purple, you know, purple carpet. They had her photography screen back there with her signature. And then we just went um, around the corner and up the escalators to go up to the main attraction. But it was so pretty. And this is kind of shaky just because, hello, I was excited. But we finally got to walk in and look how pretty. I mean, it was per the, mo the most purple I've ever seen in ever. I mean, you had her picture everywhere, her collection everywhere, that neon sign of her signature everywhere. The carpet was purple. I mean, everything just looked purple. I have to say they organized it pretty well. They had a lot of lines, but that's what the inside of the venue looked like, and it was gorgeous. That is crazy. That probably would have been us if we waited till 6 or 8 o'clock. So after we got all our makeup, they did have um, this their arena to go into, and this is where all the DJs were going to perform. And then they had uh, Prince Royce and another performer. Um, I forget her name, but it was pretty empty when we got there, so we went in and grabbed some lunch, and we came to this um, food truck area. We ended up just eating some chicken tenders and fries. Yuck. But we had that gorgeous view back there for lunch. I mean, so you can't really complain. Um, Corpus Christi is gorgeous. 
I mean, you can't really complain having that ocean view all the time. So we really had a lot of fun. Um, here, I think we were on our way to the USS Lexington ship. Um, that was creepy. I did not like it, not one bit. And then I think she, this little girl is 13 years old. She just got signed on to the Q Productions, I think they're called. Um, but she was, uh, her name is Isabel Marie Sanchez or something like that. She was pretty good. She sings some Tejano and here she was singing one of Selena's song, Dreaming of You. And then, of course, their main attraction, Prince Royce. Now, let me tell you, this was the first time I saw him in concert. And boy, does this little man know how to get all them ladies all riled up, screaming, and my lord, probably getting them all hot and sweaty, even though he was far away. But he was good, too. I liked him. He was a good performance. But after him, we ended up just going back to the hotel and getting some rest. And the next day, we decided to get up and go to the boat docks. So we just thought it was super cool that all these fishermen bring... I mean, hello, we're from Dallas, so we don't see this every day. But look at all them pelicans! I thought they were so cute. Hanging around the fishers' boats. Um, but yeah, so... I really loved that the fishermen were like selling their catches of the day so you know it's fresh. Um, it was just really cool to see in person, you know. So we really enjoyed it. Oh, did you see so here was the next day after selena and so we were tired and it was just nice to get out on the boat i'm sh i'm so glad my sister convinced me to take this little hour boat to a ride it just took us out to the ocean and let us kind of relax luckily there was only a total of four people including me and my sisters only two others on this boat with us so it was nice and quiet and we really just got to enjoy the scenery um oh, yeah. and if you look to the right of the screen sort of you can see some fins pop out of the dolphins that we got to see for a while so that was really cool oh my God, there's like but that was the end of our trip we just headed back i'm not sure what city this is in but i just thought that bridge was pretty cool um and then we just headed back to dallas you guys so i really hope you guys liked a little snippet of our trip um and stay tuned for the swatches of the selena mac collection i hope y'all enjoy it thanks for watching hi guys so are you excited as i am like holy mother of jesus himself i've been waiting for this day since i found out they were gonna do it um so let's jump in shall we i'll of course do like swatches and stuff but first, can we talk about this bag? Like, how gorgeous is this bag? Could you die? Because I almost did. It was beautiful. I mean, you were literally on the ocean, you know, the, the, the shoreline. And everything you see is just water. That's all you see is water. Um... And it was just amazing. Big ol' shout out to my big sister. My biggest sister um for going with me oh my god I probably would have not gone if she hadn't gone with me and it was so amazing to be able to get to do it together okay so by the way are you ready because this is gorgeous that's the back and then this is the front Look how pretty that is. So pretty. Again, these were limited edition. They were selling them for $25. And part of the proceeds, part of the proceeds went to her Selena Foundation. So that was kind of cool. And then the only item that I don't have is the lip gloss. But you better believe that I got it online. So I just gotta wait for that to come in. But We'll just jump everything out.
So me and my sister, bless her heart, because I forget what time she woke up on, Friday, on Thursday morning. She still worked Thursday. And then we left to Corpus at about 6.30 maybe, 7-ish in the afternoon from Dallas. And we made it to Corpus at around 2.30. We were in our hotel room. Now listen, if y'all go to Corpus, if y'all go to Corpus from Dallas, a bit, bit piece of advice, do not, I repeat, do not take 181. That was the creepiest, well at night anyway, because I think in the morning or in the daytime it'll look pretty cool, but at night, it's the creepiest drive I've ever been on, but... So once we got to Corpus, we got to our hotel room at about 2.30 and there was this lady there that was telling us that there were people already lined up even though they weren't supposed to line up until 4 o'clock. They were lining up across the street off of the um, property for the American Bank Center where it was. And then once Ford got there, everybody just like literally ran over to try to get in line. But I said, get your little catnap in because we're going to be there by 4 o'clock. And so we got there at 2.30 from trying to settle in and just talking about a game plan. Poor thing probably didn't go to sleep until 3 o'clock. And then I woke her up at like 3.45 and we uh, left to the American Bank Center. And we were there by four, and there was already such a long line. I'll try to insert a clip of what the American Bank Center looks like from the front, and then we were at the very end of the American Bank Center. So we weren't too far back. But once we got there, boy, did that line really start to grow. We got this wristband, and it just says Max Selena. It's her favorite color, purple. And they had multiple colors, but we got the purple one, and the person that worked there told us that pretty much the wristbands were to try to help them keep count of everybody that was coming in. And these purple ones for, for the, for the, these purple ones were for the first 1,000 people. So, we were within the first 1,000, which was really, really cool. I mean, for having waited at 4 o'clock in the morning in the freezing ass cold because I don't know if Corpus is usually a cold place I don't assume it is but at four o'clock in the morning in front of the water with wind it was cold it felt like it was like 40 degrees or something it was cold and then and then here, co here comes the good stuff so they had um, five eyeshadows to get all five I mean I pretty much got everything because it wasn't gonna be you know I'm gonna go to get it so it's like once in a lifetime, and I probably won't use it aside from swatching it for you guys. I haven't even touched it yet. And if you know me, I cannot wait to dig into stuff. So we'll just start with the eyeshadows. And we will start with this one that's called No Me Queda Más. I'm going to have a hard time saying these names without singing her songs. But this is what her eyeshadow packaging looks like. So just simple purple packaging and then that's what her the back looks like and then you just open it and that's what no me queda mas looks like are y'all okay side note this is my first ever mac purchase i've never had anything mac so I really don't know what to compare it to. Like, I don't know their quality of product compared to this one. So we'll just have to see. Um, I'll judge Mac based off of this right here. So they better must have had, they better have done a good job. That is No Me Queda Mas. Shadow is missing my baby. Again same packaging this is what the color looks like it's like a really light pink I don't know how it's gonna look in the camera but it's like a really light not pink I would say like beigey 
beigey baby pink and that's what it looks like it might look white but it has a little bit of beigey pinky to it and that was missing my baby and then you have is it the boot This one was the black one, I think. Yeah. So, just black. And, I mean, I know that black really is hard. Yeah. So, that's that. The third one down is, is it the beat? Then you have Fotos y Recuerdos. Photos. Recuerdos. This was the pink one. The, let's see. This one's a satin. And the last one, does it tell me where they are? Out here. I forgot to look on the other three, but I'll pop it on their screen what they were, mats or shimmer, or whatever. But this one's a satin, so it's going to have a little bit of, like, shimmery stuff in there, if you can see it. I don't know how well you will be able to. But this is what it looks like on the back of my hand. Mm. Eh. It has a little bit, but not too much. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it. It's pretty... I mean, they did say they matched all her, um, that Suzette took her, uh, makeup out of her case and just gave it to the MAC people, and the MAC people just tried to match it, like, color match it as best as they could. This is called Selena, and this is the purple one. This is a Belux Pearl finish, and it looks like that. So this one you can definitely see the shimmer I think. Oh yeah, this one you can see the sheen. This one's really pretty actually. I didn't think I would like the purple one but I think that's one of my favorites. So that was the five eyeshadows and these were $18 a piece I think. Let me look. Or were those the 17 yeah the eyeshadows were 17 a piece so they are they did launch online but you should be able to get them in store on the 6th which is since six five four, Thursday I think so keep an eye out girl you better grab a pen grab a paper so you know which items you want so you know what to get at the store and then we have the uh, liquid eyeliner Okay, now let me tell you something about the eyeliner and the mascara. I really only got these because it has her name on it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have got it. And I would have regretted not having the complete collection, you know. So, that's the only reason I got these was to complete the collection, honestly. But they called this one Boot Black, the eyeliner. And... It has her name on the front. It has Max Selena with the purple. And then it has an itty bitty point. And this is how it swatches. Ooh. So I mean it's black. And it does dry down matte. The point is just so stiff and so hard to work with this is actually one of the products that I would not mind using up just because it's just a black eyeliner I mean even if I kept it in my collection you know all I had to do was keep it clean and it would look okay and it's nothing unique so I it wouldn't hurt to use it you know what I mean and then this is the mascara they called it 
Optimum Black, probably just what they call all their mascaras, except this one's purple. Well, purple tubed. So that's what it looks like. And again, it just has her, um, the Max Selena logo on it. And then that's what it looks like. Just, you know, your typical fat brushed mascara. It looks good. I just haven't tried it. I should have tried it today. I didn't think about it, though. And then we have um, the brush that came in the collection. This one I thought would have been so much bigger, but it's not. And it has the purple handle that has her name on it. Maxelina. And then this is just like a contour brush. This one I'll probably only use a couple times. I think I'll just do one tutorial using all her stuff. But this one I'm not going to use too much because if you see the handle, I mean that name is maybe like spray painted on there. And this one product you can tell that if you use it enough, I mean her name is on the handle so you're going to be using it and stuff and I'm afraid that it'll rub off. So this one I probably wouldn't use too much, you know? And then you had the bronzer and blush duo so that is the packaging and this one they called Technocumbia. Technocumbia. And that's the packaging for that. So pretty, like I said, simple, purple. Same black label on the back to tell you the name. And this is what it looks like. Tell me that is not gorgeous. So pretty. Now, I'm kind of really sad because... I haven't stuck my finger in this one yet because I don't want to ruin it. I plan, I don't know if y'all can see, I left, I cleaned my shelf and I left a hole up, up at the top to display all this stuff. I'm going to go buy one of those display acrylic cubes from the container store to put it all in there. And I just don't want to touch this one. I can't. But I must. Maybe just the corner. I guess I have to put my finger across the whole blush. You can barely see the blush. That's not very, that very, that pigmented. And then the bronzer. I just don't want to ruin her name in the bronzer, you know? Since they embossed it. They engraved the bronzer with her name. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the bronzer on my hand. Yeah, you can. It's a nice color, actually. I think it would have worked for me really, really well. Really, really, really well. But, I just don't want to ruin it. I don't. But that one was really pretty. That was probably one of my favorites. Probably what everybody and their mama was looking forward to. Was. The lipsticks. So you had three lipsticks and you have um, Dreaming of You, Amor Prohibido, and Como La Flor. Can we take a moment? Can we take a moment and appreciate? Appreciate this package. Focus camera. Look at this packaging. It says Max Selena on the bullet. It's just the purple and black packaging with her name on the front. And then you just open it up and it's a black tube on the inside. And then it's her lipstick. Okay, so Dreaming of You is not the nude one. I want to start with the nude one, so let me find the nude one. Look forward to that swatch. Um, I don't think it's como la flor. No. So it must be amor prohibido. Amor prohibido is the nude one. This one I've already tried. 
And it doesn't even look like I have anything on my lips. But here's a swatch. I do like their lipsticks because they are pretty pigmented, but watch. That one. That's called Amor Prohibido, and this is a glaze finish lipstick, I guess, aka glossy. They just try to be fancy with their words. And again, this is just a nude lipstick. Maybe. Very similar to my lip color, so it's really hard to see, but that's what it looks like. Feels good. They actually smell good. Next, we'll do this one. This is Como La Flor. I just want to save her like signature deep burgundy red matte color for last, but this one. This is red. This is an amplified, whatever that means. An amplified finish. I haven't even swatched this one. Can you appreciate the... Come on. Appreciate the unused lipstick. I mean, look at it. Ugh. But here we go. I'm kind of nervous. Okay. Here we go. It's so pretty. It feels really good. Um, I don't know. It's kind of just glossy, honestly. I'm not sure what they mean about amplifying. But it's so pretty. You could totally see Selena wearing this. Last, but certainly not least, is Dreaming of You. This is probably one of my favorites of her songs. So I was really looking forward to this lipstick, not only because it's named after one of my favorite songs, but because it represents her the most, you know, and dreaming of you, kind of her dream come true, you know, she talked about making her own makeup line and it's here. So again, let's just appreciate the newness of this lipstick. Look at it. Oh, I don't want to ruin it. But that's dreaming of you. This is one of their matte formulas. That is dreaming of you. Crazy to think that somebody who passed away 20 years ago can still th make this much of an impact through her spirit is really what she's doing. <sighs> but anyway, you guys, I really, really hope you guys liked this video. It was so much fun literally once in a lifetime experience to get to go to an event like this it left me broke as hell so I will be taking donations I'm just kidding but I mean it was worth my being broke it's just crazy and again I really do have to thank my sister because I mean, you know, like I said, if it pro if I mean, my husband would have came, but it was just nice to go with another girl, you know, so we could just like freak out about it together. We both love Selena and she bought some stuff too. So I know she was happy about that. Um, Corpus is really nice. It's a really nice place to visit if you've ever been um, or if you haven't, you should check it out. But again, you guys like this video if you like Selena. Thanks for watching this video, you guys. 
Um, I hope y'all liked the little clips of me and my sister's visit. And I'll see y'all next time. I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.